Hello children, hello children, how are you? How are you? I thank you for tuning in today. Thank you for tuning in today. How are you? How are you? Hello, my beautiful children, and hello. How are you today? I'm so excited that you decided to tune in to another Read Aloud with Miss Glam. Today, I have an exciting Read Aloud for you, and it's about character emotions again. How do you feel? Oh, I'm so happy to hear that you are having some very positive emotions today. And did you hear that? Before we get into our read aloud and the gist of the story, let's go to our Thank You More to review character feelings. Let's head to our thinking board. Thinking board, thinking board. Today we're going to focus on character traits. Let's figure out what happens in a story that will cause a character's emotions to change. The character felt blank when blank. Or the character felt blank because blank. What do you think that could happen in the story that causes a character to be happy? What can cause a character to feel sad? It's okay to come up with character emotions, but we have to make sure that we're proving the reason why we feel that our answers are correct. Let's tune in. The title of the story is called Our Tree Named Steve by Alan Zwiebel. Do you think the story is going to be about going to the grocery store? Give me a thumbs up if you think it's going to be about going to the grocery store. Hmm. Do you think it might be about a tree? Thumbs up for a tree. I think so too. The way we can determine if our prediction is right is by examining the cover. Looking at what you see on the cover. I see children. I see a dog. And I see a great big tree. Do you have a tree nearby? Is there a tree near your home? Oh, wow, I have a tree near my home also. It's a very small tree. It's called a Japanese blossom tree. Well, without further ado, let's see exactly what happens with the tree and the children. The children are going to be the main characters and they're gonna be experiencing lots of different emotions based on things that happen with the tree. Let's jump in. Dear kids, a long time ago, when you were little, mom and I took you to where we wanted to build a house for us to live in. But in order to build there, men had to come and clear the land. I remember there was one tree, however, that the three of you couldn't stop staring at. Adam thought it was crying. Lindy said he looked nervous. And Sarah, who was the only two-year-old, couldn't pronounce tree. And she called it Steve. I love you, Steve, she kept saying. And then Adam and Lindy started saying it. And before too long, Mom and I got the hint and asked the builder to please save Steve. The day we moved in, Steve was there to greet us. He quickly worked his way into your lives as a swing holder. Can you find the swing? Did you point here? Yes, that will be the swing. A target, third base, hiding place, and jump rope turner. And whenever our dryer broke down, he held our underwear with pride. 
looks like Kirby is having a great time also. Yes, right there in the center of our yard, this weird looking tree grew to become the center of our outdoor life. Through all the barbecues and cookouts, dance parties, or when Adam and Lindsay started getting crushes on the Simon kids next door. Steve adjusted to our every need. And it wasn't always easy. Standing tall through snowstorms in the winter. Or when Uncle Chester napped in a hammock couldn't possibly have been fun. Not to mention the time that the sewer overflowed and Steve sucked up all the smelly water before it drowned Kirby. Hmm, can you find Kirby? I think here's Kirby. He's trying to stay and make sure that he doesn't drown in the water. And just like the book said, Steve did a good job with protecting him. Then got so sick himself that the tree doctor had to give Steve a haircut that made him look like a big thumb. <laughs> I think he looks pretty spectacular with his new haircut. Through the years, mom and I have tried to show you in a world filled with strangers, the peace that comes with having things you can count on in a safe place to return to after a hard day or a long trip. Which brings me to the point of this letter. Last week, a storm hit our area. <gasps> Did you know that sometimes trees are affected by weather? What do you think is going to happen when the storm comes? What do you think the dad is going to tell the children? Do you think something happened to Steve? I can't imagine what's going to happen next. Can you? What do you think is going to happen? Let's see. And though we spared Steve's life a long time ago, this time, couldn't save him. Are we sad? Sure we are. But even in his final moments, when he could have fallen on the house, Sarah's swing, Kirby's house, or mom's garden, Steve performed his last trick and protected all of us to the very end. And friends like this are hard to find. How do you think the children are going to feel? Can you find Steve now? Steve is just a stump. There is Steve. So at the beginning, the children were in awe. They felt love for Steve and they wanted him to keep him around. And Steve was able to do so many things for them and make them happy and be a part of every moment of their lives as they were growing up. And now we came to this part where Steve was affected by a storm. Steve performed his last trick and protected all of us to the very end. And friends like this are hard to find. Do you have friends? What are your friends' names? <laughs> well, I hope you said Miss Glam. I'm happy that you have lots of friends. <gasps> Lo and behold, it says, So when you come home from Grandmom's next week, Steve will not be able to greet you as he has done in the past. I'm sorry. 
So their emotions are really going to shift now. But please, please know that Steve will always be with us in our heart and in our thoughts. And in a different tree at the other end of the yard, see you next week. Love, Dad. The end. And when the story's over and when we reach the end, we live happily ever after in the land of make pretend. Bom, bom, bubbly, bop. And when the story's over and when we reach the end, if you think you like the story and you want to read it again, just hit like, subscribe, and right before your eyes, you can watch it over again and again. I'm so happy you decided to tune in. Continue tuning in because as we grow, we're going to add more to the channel. Stay tuned for a very special edition coming up very soon. Until next time. So long!